Welcome back to the channel for another daily video here on Hypixel Skyblock. In today's video, we have episode 5 of our Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man series. I'm super excited for this one. We did a lot of miscellaneous stuff, talisman upgrades, a sword upgrade. We did a bunch of minion grinding. Overall, just an, a huge amount of progression in today's video, which is always very exciting, especially early game progression is so much fun to play. For those of you who have played Hypixel Skyblock, I'm sure you can kind of relate to that. Early game is uh, honestly one of the best states of the game, and I've been loving it so far. In today's video, I also prepared a bit of a surprise for the twins. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually playing on the co-op right now with a group of other YouTubers known as Twin Code Plays. I'm going to link their channel down below. They upload their episodes at the same time I do every other day, and they've been killing it right now. So um, they also just hit well over a thousand subscribers. So if you guys want to go ahead and show them some love from our community, just go to their channel, comment on the most recent video saying Zach sent you here, and uh, just let them know that uh, you know we're, we're always watching because uh, we're always watching. <laughs> but on a serious note, they have been killing it recently. And uh, if you guys are new to my channel as well, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a single thing and you can always change your mind later on. We're about to get right into the video though. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this. It, it, this should be a good one. Today's video starts off by collecting a lot of talismans that we've had recipes for, as well as a few others, basically doubling the amount of accessories that we have in total and starting to fill up our accessory bag. So let's jump to that right now. So we're back on the island for a second because there are a few talismans that we have yet to craft that we've had the recipe for for a little bit and uh, we just wanted to be together to uh, craft these things you know so the first talisman I want to craft with you guys is the feather talisman as you guys know we placed now a chicken minion and it's time to actually use some of its drops uh, for our advantage so if we go into the top chest up here each of you grab out uh, roughly three stacks of feathers and we're gonna go into the crafting right. table and uh, we're gonna craft ourselves the beautiful feather talisman so let me know when you yeah, guys are on the crafting good. table do that mm-hmm Okay, yep. ready? See it. Yep. And crafted. Boom. There we Beautiful. go. So that, that is like that. another talisman crossed off. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Perfect. Uh, in the other chest over here by our forging stuff, I have put together a couple of care packages along the bottom row here. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, each of you grab an enchanted oak wood and eight oak leaves. And we're going nice. to go ahead I like and... The preparation. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I know. I'm quite, I'm quite the artsman. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So on the crafting table, once again, we're going to craft the Wood Affinity Talisman. This is another one we've had unlocked for a while. So let me know when you guys are there. Yep, yep there. got it right here. It's Perfect. recommended. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Crafted. There we go. There we nice. go. So that's two more Talismans crossed off. But quickly, we're going to run to spawn, and uh, we can actually buy a few more that we have yet to do. All right, so we're back in the hub now, and if you guys don't remember from episode one, we actually came to the adventurer NPC, and we purchased the zombie talisman to help us on our way to kill lapis zombies. So there's actually five other talismans here, and we've prepared by putting 25,500 coins into our purses, and we actually have enough to buy the other five talismans now. Originally we didn't, but now we can actually go ahead and buy the skeleton talisman, village affinity, mine affinity, intimidation talisman, and the uh, scavenger talisman. So when you guys are ready, let's... Uh, yeah, just rifle through and pick all five of them right. up. Oh wow, I can sell them back to the NPC for 200 coins. Wow, profit, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, got all of them here. Awesome. So one nice. of the one of the really good ones in this though is the Intimidation Talisman. So level one monsters will no longer target you. This is actually really good because our skeleton minion on our island has just been uh, absolutely uh, bothering me like no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time yeah, I try to here. get the bones from it, he's just sniping me in the face. So this will be a good way to stop that. <laughs> So we just quickly went to the hub and we were actually fighting zombies, not for slayers or anything, but actually because we needed poisonous potatoes. For those of you who don't know, zombies have a chance to drop um, a few different things, carrots, potatoes, as well as poisonous potatoes, and of course, rotten flesh. Poisonous potatoes, uh, very useless from the outside besides being a brewing ingredient, which I didn't even know there was a potion that goes in. So let me know in the comments down below what potion a poisonous potato is used for. Probably poison, now that I think about it. But I actually needed nine of these to craft a vaccine talisman. And so, because we're on Iron Man, of course, I had to go and grind that myself. The twins also did that grind with me, so it went by pretty quick. But now I can craft the vaccine talisman, and that is another one to go into the accessory bag. It's starting to fill up pretty nicely here. I'm kind of proud of our progress here. This is almost everything that we can craft right now. The only talisman that we have not crafted that we have the recipe for is the mineral talisman. We haven't had one of these events yet while we've been on the Iron Man Pro. Profile. So hopefully one of these will come one day and we can actually grind out heart, uh, mineral armor as well as the mineral talisman because those will be really good as an Iron Man when trying to mine in the end for mining XP, 
for just just a bunch of things. So those are that's definitely going to be a grind to expect here in this series down the line. Other than that, though, we've crafted all the talismans we have re recipes for. Um, there's a few other uh, quests and tasks we can do for talismans. But other than that, I'm just happy to add another one to the accessory bag. So we just came to the nether for a second to actually get some glowstone as well as max out our nether rack collection. And it didn't really feel like it was video worthy until I remembered that the pigmen have a chance to drop a item called the flaming sword. And the flaming sword overall isn't a good sword. It's really not. It has like 50 damage or something like that. And so we came here just in uh, hopes to kind of get a few things for collections. And it didn't really feel like something interesting to put into a video. But then we remembered about this sword. And for those of you who don't know, right now we use the cleaver, which has a base stat of plus 40 damage and base of plus 10 strength. And so I actually already dropped the flaming sword like right away. And it has plus 50 damage and plus 20 strength, which is actually uh, quite a bit better than our cleaver that we're running right now. And so it's a decent early game sword and considering i got one in like the first four pigmen i killed um we figured that we may as well just wait around try and get two more for the twins but yeah just want to let you guys know sword upgrade i'm going to be throwing some enchants on this afterwards and uh overall kind of happy that i remembered that this sword exists because an upgrade's an upgrade and that's the whole point of high pixel skyblock so we're actually i think this is the first time i'm ever going to use the flaming sword just because we don't we can't get an aspect of the end right away or anything so uh i'm excited to start using this thing so me and the twins are actually about to go forging to unlock a bunch of more minion slots because you can basically just farm to like tier five forging minions really quickly. But one thing that makes it really fast, I told them to craft golden axes, but I didn't tell them much more than that. And so what I've prepared here, we actually just went and grinded and got um, the recipe for enchanted glowstone. And I'm actually making haste three potions. So I'm going to surprise them with that because they're kind of uh, not too excited about going forging. Forging is not fun and it's super slow, but hopefully these haste three potions will make it a little bit more enjoyable for them. I also have an enchanted redstone dust to put in. I'm not sure how long these potions are going to be. Probably, if I had to guess, 18 minutes each. Um, but yeah, so hopefully they last a little bit of time. I'm only alchemy level 5, and that's not from actually doing any alchemy. That's just from opening presents. So I'm not sure how long these potions are going to be, but we're going to find out in a few seconds here. But something that's um, really cool is with a golden axe, for those of you who don't know, gold is the fastest material in all of Minecraft besides custom items. It's faster than diamond tools, and so when you pair it with haste potions, yeah, so 16 and a half minutes, um, roughly so I'm gonna go ahead and make those really quickly and so this is actually gonna make it a lot faster for us to be able to forage especially with a golden axe so we should be able to like one tap down trees which is really exciting it'll make it go by a lot faster so hopefully they like my little surprise here let's go ahead guys let's go through the uh portal what you say exciting Head stuff over. eh? to the park right. here oh, you go. Park. the journey begins it's also great fishing yes. spots oh yeah they're actually many hours back. fishing spots um so yeah. I, uh, we aren't in the same lobby. I'm going to warp you guys. Yeah. Okay. So forging, uh, forging kind of sucks. Hey boys. I think, I think we can all agree on that. Forging yes. is, is not many fun. hours, many hours. Yes. So yes. I told you guys to bring some golden axes. Did you, did you do so? Did you follow yeah, this? Yeah, I did it. And I was questioning it. You know, I was wondering why we're doing this. Yeah, wondering, eh? Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, big brain Zach over here. That's, that's my nighttime nickname. Um, oh, yeah. I was, uh, I was busy away, you know, a little, little surprise for you boys. And, uh, I actually prepared some potions. That'll make this go by okay. a ton of a lot faster. So quickly, Ooh, just come up here and uh, just chop just chop wood normally. It, it's not okay. fast. Like, just find a tree and yeah. just showcase it. It is, it's so long. It's such an annoying process, even with a gold axe, which is one of the fastest yeah, tools for this in the game. So quickly, I'm just going to trade each of you. Colin, uh, stop, please, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to trade you guys something. And uh, so I, br I brewed up... Working. Yeah, I brewed up some uh, some haste potions. So for those of you who don't know, increases uh, movement speed by 60%. Your mining speed, I should say. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, this should go by a little bit faster. So remember what it was like to chop down a tree normally. In a second here, yep. we're all going to drink these. And okay. uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the difference. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Bottoms mm -hmm. up, boys. There we go. Okay, we got 16 minutes and, eight, and 48 seconds. So now, okay, if you hit a tree... It oh is my gosh. Uh, a, a little bit faster. <laughs> so much wow, faster. It's so much better. Yeah. Oh so, my god. So we'll be able to max out like tier five forging minions very, very quickly with this. But we need to That's use so our different. we need to use our sixteen minutes wisely because it's a lot of materials for sixteen minutes of potions each. So uh yeah, okay. I guess we're just gonna start forging. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had the big brain idea because 
It's definitely way better. Oh, way yeah. faster. So we actually just finished collecting birch, spruce, dark oak, acacia, and jungle wood to make all the minions to level five, which is actually amazing. The haste potion helped more than you guys can ever know, really. And something that's really cool as well is we have about four more, four and a half more minutes left on this second batch of haste three potions. So we're gonna keep on going um, for these for this little bit of time left because we're actually getting pretty close to the jungle axe. And the jungle axe is, uh, well, it's a lot better than the golden axe, that's for sure. It's only three enchanted jungle wood, which we definitely have enough for. I have enough on me right now. It's all about the collections. And that's a big theme that you guys have been seeing in this series. So we're gonna keep on farming uh, jungle wood and uh, we'll cut back when we can actually craft the axe because that's gonna be a very nice upgrade. And there we go. We just unlocked the jungle axe. As you can see, 5,000 jungle wood collected, which is honestly amazing. Another grind we're going to go for eventually is the ocelot pet. And we're going to be doing spruce wood again later on as well to attempt to get our hands on some wolf pets. So if you guys are excited for those grinds, then uh, make sure you're subscribed. Obviously, you know, it's a big brain thing to do. But we can actually go ahead and craft ourselves a jungle axe now, which is very exciting. So I am quite excited to do this because, uh, well, it's the first big upgrade in a while here. So jungle axe, there we go. Going to replace that. I want to get efficiency 5 and telekinesis on this thing, obviously, because otherwise it just takes so long to actually do the initial break. Um, efficiency 5 will help this a ton. But as you can see, breaks a very large amount of the wood, uh, which is amazing. And I can't wait to get a tree capitator down the line because... That is just going to be amazing. Right now, it's debatable between Haste 3 and Gold Axe, which one's faster, because I do feel like this is also a little bit faster right now. But with Efficiency 5, I feel like my decision on that will probably be a little bit more changed. Also, Jungle Axe is just a lot more relaxing. Overall, we do also need it later on so that we can go ahead and get ourselves the Tree Capitaire. Tree Capitaire, best axe in the game, obviously. So I'm excited to do that grind later on as well. After we finished forging, me and the twins decided to actually, we realized that we hit farming level 10 and farming level 10 unlocks Jacob where you can start doing contests. Obviously we are not gonna get medals. As you can see, I have no medals here, but there was actually two events that we had kind of just passively been a part of without knowing. So we got Jacob's ticket for those. I also decided to lobby swap and punch the potatoes in the hub here during a potato contest. So I could get another Jacob's ticket and uh, probably in the next day or two, we're gonna start building our farms. I believe with a wheat farm, that's the easiest gold medal to get in the game, as well as working on a sugarcane, netherwort, as well as a bunch of other crops, because eventually we will need a, a farm for every single crop in the game so we can get all these unique gold medals. But I'm really excited to start the farming grind because I feel like it's going to be a huge part of our money-making method. Also, we can easily get to uh, alchemy level 50 just by using the sugar cane that we harvest if we don't want to sell it. So there's a lot of really good things that can come from farming. So uh, yeah, just want to let you guys know we did, uh, or I did three small contests and I got three Jacobs tickets. So that concludes kind of the random parts of different grinding that we've done the last two days. We also did another, um, we also did the Jerry event again and we got a bunch of presents. Didn't get anything too notable. I got a lot more um, pots as well as just a few other enchanting books, but I didn't get any new armor pieces. I got 10 more ice runes, but other than that, nothing insane. So nothing really worth covering, but I believe that's going to be it for today's video. Today was kind of a smorgasbord of a bunch of random stuff that we've been working towards. Hypixel Skyblock, especially in the early days, there's so much random stuff that you're doing all over the place, but we have a lot of really big grinds that we're going to be working on very, very soon. So if you guys are excited to see us kind of struggle and uh, actually work hard for this series, then make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like and turn on post notifications so you guys can stay up to date on everything going on in this series. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, take care and peace.